She was a singer, an actress, a legend. I mean, that's one thing she could act. She did it all. According to Houston's representative, the 48-year-old was confirmed dead on Saturday. The cause of death is still unknown. We caught up with Sinbad, a comedian and associate of Houston's. Oh yeah, I've been waiting to get my first opportunity to actually play a big room. I opened up for a Madison Square Garden, which led for me to do a tour with Luther Vandross, man. But I mean, I've been knowing her guy since she was, uh, she was in her 20s, man. According to her official website, Houston sold more than 170 million albums, singles and videos. She had seven straight Billboard number one hits in the 1980s, and like many who knew Houston, Sinbad describes her talent as one of a kind. She did it so effortless. I mean, there's people that can sing, but I look at her, Rita Franklin, uh, uh, Shaka Khan, that's the kind of levels I'm talking about. Everybody else is chasing it. Throughout her lifetime, Houston received help for her struggle with drugs and alcohol. Tonight, fans of her music are shocked and saddened by the singer's sudden death. Yeah, we used to listen to her a lot. That's really sad. She was really talented. Oh, breaks my heart. When I was a girl, a little girl, yeah. She's, she's awesome. It's a loss for her fans, but even a greater loss for those who knew her well. It's sad. It's, it's, I mean, it's sad. I know, she's only 48 years old. In Medford, Courtney Olish, NBC5 News.